Hello, I'm here at the marsh waiting for a bite. This day of fishing has not started very successfully, but let's talk about Gary Ginsler and why he might be after Binance, not because of legal reasons, but because of a personal vendetta he has against Binance. It's been revealed that years ago, Gary Ginsler applied to actually be an advisor over at Binance and he got denied. Yes, so he might be carrying his vendetta because they rejected him, just like that scorned girlfriend. He wants revenge because Ginsler is that type of guy. He thinks he's the smartest person in the room and when people don't accept him, he gets angry. So obviously he never became an advisor at Binance and now that he's at the SEC and he actually was buddy buddy with FTX uh, CEO Sam Bateman Freed and he's probably mad that Binance took SBF down, he really, really wants to get revenge on Binance.com. Now, it's going to be hard going after CZ because Binance.com isn't actually in jurisdiction. US jurisdiction. They can probably get rid of Binance.us. The DOJ is thinking about filing criminal charges against Binance. Not really sure how that's actually going to go because they do. Uh, they did say they co-mingle customer funds, but unlike FTX, which lost all the customer funds, Binance still has all the customer funds and they're safe and guaranteed. Binance withdrawals has not stopped and Binance US withdrawals have not stopped either. They are fully servicing the customer, so it's hard to bring evidence kind of like against that. Because the thing is like, no one's actually been damaged by such actions, and we don't even know if those actions are real, they're just kind of alleged right now. They do have some evidence with like uh, Catherine Cooley and maybe Brian Brooks, but overall like, they don't really have that many hurt parties that can actually come and bring Binance saying like, oh, Binance, um, basically kept me or kept my funds when I tried to withdraw them because Binance doesn't really have that kind of reputation. In terms of customer support, Binance is actually one of the better exchanges. They're one of the few exchanges that actually reply to me when I actually write them. So Binance is actually giving me pretty pretty good service. Like I give their customer service a C minus and I say they're one of the best in the industry because I give everyone else basically an F. So essentially like they're one of the few ones, them and Coinbase are the one of the few ones that actually reply to me. And the thing is, like like I said, their service is pretty good. They haven't really ever like held up my uh, withdrawals or anything. The people that ha they who they actually held up withdrawals, usually it's like the person's own fault because like they use Binance.com when they weren't supposed to be wearing them from the US. And uh, or like, you know, they somehow lost their funds because they're use, using some kind of VPN to obscure their KYC AML. That's kind of like your own doing if that actually happens. But generally like Binance, I haven't really had any trouble with. And they're one of the few exchanges that I receive the least complaints from from my users. So technically they are one of the best exchanges out there. And since they have all the customer funds and they're actually fully funded on their deposits over 100%, um, I do think they're actually going to come out okay at this point. But it might be that Gary Ginsler is actually on a personal vendetta against Binance because A, they kind of like outed his buddy F, uh, Sam Bankman Freed and B, because he got scorned by them because he was not accepted as, as an advisor at Binance. So uh, yeah, that's what I have to say. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button and SEC advisors who actually are um, pursuing personal hate agendas should be fired. And I will see you guys later.